COVID masks. Do you need one? Should you be wearing one? Hey, my name is Michael Smith, entrepreneur, motivational speaker, extreme athlete and coach. Thanks for coming by my weekly YouTube reflection, which yes, is all about, ooh, don't scare the kids, the COVID mask phenomenon that's kicking off. Yes, I'm in a slightly different location this week. It's very comfortable. It's still inside my house. Don't worry about that. Are you wearing a COVID mask? Well, what does the research say? That's where I want to head to first because when it all started kicking off, I thought I better check out, really, do these things work? The bottom line down here is actually quite super simple. The real surgical ones and one called, what I found out, the N95, is actually super useful in sealing around your face and keeping you from sharing your germs and also filters the stuff going back in. That's a little bit on that side. Now, what's happened is there's obviously more studies done. People are questioning whether this type is good, whether that type is good. This and that type, I mean material ones, for one. The other ones, which are the little disposable ones that you buy in like, Josh left some in my car the other day, about 100 for not very much money at all. Are they good or do we really need this one that seals the whole face? There have been various lab tests, some with hamsters in places like China, to find out if disease, germs, the virus is transmitted. And the bottom line, and this is what I wanna say really for the whole show, I've got some really interesting other points, so stay tuned. But honestly, most of the studies are saying, and some studies, not all these studies have yet been peer reviewed, reviewed, these things, peer reviewed, which means that your study is reviewed by your peers, right? And it means that it's quite legitimate. But most of them are saying, and the general consensus is, that something may be better than nothing. Well, I kind of agree as well. And I also always go back to what I've been saying all along here is, you have to follow what your government says. Interestingly, in the UK, they're not using them. And there's a little bit of a divide here between East and West, right? We see in the East, this is quite common. In the East, people have been wearing a mask. It's very normal if you have a cough, a cold, something going on that you would put on a mask to protect yourself and to protect those around you in countries further East. This has been happening for a very long time, but it's not really yeah, it's not common practice. Where I'm from in the UK, you don't wear a mask. Now, is it, I don't know about America. Do you wear masks in America? Let me know, you American guys. So really, it's a case of East meets West, and I'm sort of sat in Dubai, where right now the law is, and this is what I wanna be clear on, the law right here is that you have to wear a mask. So we wear a mask when we go out in public. Very normal, very okay, I'm good with it. So. East and West are doing different things. We heard early on in this piece that actually the reason why they're not promoting masks and covering of the face in the UK is because they don't have access to enough supply. Well, buddy, come over here in Dubai. We have hundreds of thousands. I was in a shop the other day and they're literally stacked up. You can get the gloves. Don't even go into things about the gloves. People driving in their own cars with rubber gloves on just don't really get it. But any shop and literally supermarkets now stack super high. So I'm not sure I believe the British government in what they were saying that there isn't enough of this stuff. Now, the high grade PP whatever that you need for hospitals to protect those workers, yes, I understand maybe there was a little lack of supply. But these rubbish masks, or, sorry, didn't say that. These masks that are kicking around at the moment, they're in supply everywhere. If we can get them here in Dubai, they can get them in Europe. Let's move on a little bit to a couple of other things that I saw this week. One, someone crashed his car and they blamed that on the mask. Whether that's true or not, I'm not really sure, but they said that the lack of oxygen, too much carbon dioxide, he was driving for too long, he's probably super tired as well, caused him to veer off the road and crash the car. That's pretty bad. We've also seen a crushed lung. So someone's lung, and this is where we have to be a little bit sort of smart or just a bit of common sense. Was it from the mask or was there a pre-existing condition? I'm not too sure, but they're the things that we've seen in the press this week. I wanna go a little bit deeper in this and a couple of different things that I've seen this week. I've been out running, if you follow me over my Instagram, you know that I go out running. And what I've seen is people, and it's mandatory here in Dubai, to wear a mask 
when you're out in public, if you're partaking in sport, although that's changed slightly in the last couple of days, I want to come to that in a second as well. People literally 100 meters away are looking, is he wearing a mask? Is he wearing a mask? You have to wear a mask. And if they're not, there's quite a lot of aggression. Now, what do I think about this aggressive side? There's two or three different things going on here. People want to be the police, and that's fine. There's a lot of people, a lot of people that just generally do stuff like that, and they make it their life, and they invest a lot of energy and stress around it. And if that's what you do, that's what you do. And I'm all good. If the law says wear it, wear it. But really, did you enjoy your morning walk this morning? Shouting at people up and down a beach track to wear a mask, and they're not even anywhere close to you? Yeah, I'm not too sure if that's the right way to go. People, police, same, same, different, different. I don't know. The bottom line is, as I keep on saying, you're supposed to wear a mask, please do wear a mask. Hi, let's get into it. Are we hiding from something under here? It's great for me now, I've had this stuff put on my mouth and actually when I go in public, I can cover it up so no one can see it. Actually, you can't really see them too badly anyway, so I'm not that stressed about it. But what's going on behind the mask? And this is really where I wanna provoke a little bit of thought. Do you feel different when you put that mask on? Have you been wearing a mask in different areas of your life for some time, be it different amounts of makeup? I always wear a hat, why do I do that? I mean, I've got a pretty good haircut. I had it freshly done for today's show, end of the week, once a week, always have my haircut. But why do I always wear a hat? What is the mask? It's a very interesting phenomenon and it's really leading to an interesting way that we're gonna to start to communicate with each other because we've taken away the facial expression. Now, if I put my t-shirt up like this and I do this show like this, apart from the fact that it looks quite funny, you can't get a lot of the expression. Right now I could be smiling, I could be frowning, frown. I can, I'm losing a lot of the expression. So the way that we communicate with each other, you can still feel it, I'm able to use my hands and we're able to talk like this, but you're not able to see what my mouth's doing. And now that I've been doing it for 30 or 40 seconds, maybe it feels a little bit different, a little bit strange. What are we hiding behind? Are we hiding something? Or are we just had, I'll take it down, have we just had or are we having our ability to communicate and to use all of these different great tools that we have mainly around our mouth, they start to move, my lips, all of this kind of stuff is hidden behind a mask. It's actually quite funny because I've been in a couple of situations where I've wanted to enter into deeper communication with someone and I've naturally just pulled my mask down, which is 100% wrong and very sort of counterintuitive to the situation, obviously, but very interesting nonetheless. Is this mask going back to people calling each other out and humans just not being nice to humans, which I think at these times we really need to be thinking about doing? Do they feel more secure because they're behind a mask and they're hiding and they can't actually see who it is? So has this barrier that's been put up, has it given us a certain sense of something a little bit I don't know, I don't know the answer. I'm here to provide thoughts. This show is about reflection. If you're not doing a weekly reflection or a daily reflection, I really suggest you guys do it. I find it super useful and I hope you guys do as well. Coming on to one of my final points, where will it go? It's my opinion that the restrictions will be eased. I think in certain situations where people are quite close and there is this chance of contact, be it supermarkets, stores where you're actually having this transactional situation where you're really close to people and sometimes people don't respect each other's personal space. Wearing of a mask in that situation, I don't think is a bad thing. I've seen it in the news this week and the new guidelines for gyms that have opened that if you partake in strenuous exercise, you can pull the mask down around your mouth, uh, around your chin. Very interesting. Where will it get to? Who knows? My thoughts to wrap up this week's show, if your government say to wear it, if they say to wear it in public, wear it in public. If they tell you to wear it at home, that's a bit weird. But wherever they say to wear it, please just wear your mask. And really, if you're out there, don't invest too much energy in other people, just stay away from them. You've got to invest your energy in things that are gonna make you better. Is shouting at someone who's out running, trying to better their health, gonna make you better? I'm not too sure. That's it for this week. Have an awesome weekend. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll catch you with my reflection. Same time next week. Might maybe in a new place. Let's see.